Let's start the humans of the past day. Ba, 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 ba. Whatever that means. <laughs> Just gonna teleport instantly. I'm gonna try to finish this mission as fast as I can. Since it's late and I really wanna sleep. Let's just... Hey, Leith! Whatever... <gasps> Whatever are you doing today? Salute! Would have really liked it if I had a glass of coffee, but I guess I drank too much today anyway. The hell? That does it. There we go. Kinda of weird to set up the goddamn mic. Talk to Nouvellet. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, did, uh, did I hear that right? Monsieur Nouvellet, are you sure you'd like to take over the case yourself? That's right. No, but why? Technically speaking, cases like this are better left to the guards. Nivellet! Sabine! Hey there! What are you two talking about? Ugh, Traveler and Paimon, please help me talk our Chief Justice out of this. He wants to investigate a case. Oh, no, this is completely unprecedented. How can we have the Udex acting like a private detective? Hmm? Thank you for your concern, but I currently have no such plan. Oh. Apologies, I took your question in earnest, but it now occurs to me that it was most likely in jet. So, what is it exactly? It sure sounds serious if it's something you've got to investigate personally. A Melusi named Kiara received a threat letter. And then? That is all the information I have acquired at this stage. Huh? <sighs> I have no idea why you're so hung up over this. I've checked the schedule in advance, and it seems like there aren't any trials today. So, if you insist, I have no objections. Thank you for understanding. I will leave a note explaining my absence on my desk. I would appreciate it if you could take it to Lady Farina. She may have no interest in official affairs, but standard procedure dictates that I'm still responsible for reporting to her. Yes, yes, understood. I'll come back later and deliver the note to her. Judging from Sadine's reaction, it must be pretty rare for you to investigate stuff personally. What's so special about this case? I cannot tell you just yet, but it reminded me of certain past events. There could be complicated conflicts of interest behind all this, so I must eliminate- Come on! Stop being so secretive! We still have no idea what's going on! It is not my intention to keep you in the dark. But I need some time to revisit those memories and collect my thoughts. Long story short, a little more than 400 years ago I became the Udex of Fontaine and initiated a series of institutional reforms. There were few people I could trust, but I had two subordinates who were exceptionally trustworthy and capable. Carol, a Melusine, and Vautrin, leader of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. They must have been amazing people to receive such high praise from you! Indeed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to protect them. From what? The reforms damaged the interest. The incident resulted in Carol taking all Melusines. I granted there many common folk believe that I share a special bond with the Melusines, and whatever they do can be traced back to me. Some of them especially those who hold a grudge against me, exploit that belief and stir up conflict over Melusines in an attempt to lay the blame on me. I have nothing against the opinions of others, but the moment a whirlpool of conspiracy forms, it inevitably affects the innocent. It has already happened once, and I want to make sure it does not happen again. Um... Even so, why do you have to be the one investigating? There's the guard- Based on prior experience, there is a high chance that those who hold hostility towards me do not belong to the same department. The political system of Fontaine is relatively complex and involves the interests of multiple different factions. However, since I am technically an outsider in Fontaine, a lot of trouble could be avoided if I personally took on the case. 
outsider. But aren't you the Chief Justice of- I understand where you are coming from, but there is not necessarily a connection between my responsibilities and how I perceive myself. You know very well about my true identity, and have even met others of my kind in other nations. Even though I was born with a human form, there is a fundamental difference between Dragon taking on the role of Chief Justice does not make me a part of this community. In fact, the status I was granted has prevented me from forming deeper bonds with- I have lived in Fontaine for a long time, but I do not belong here. That is why I call myself an outsider. A fish out of water. Yeah, we have nothing to do with all those organizations anyway. So how about we come with you and- Let's team up and round up all the bad guys lurking- Hmm, that does not sound like a bad idea. I rarely investigate cases on my own, but with professionals like you around, I'm sure it will- Oh, Vaimon's starting to get a little embarrassed. I will write my note of absence right away. Let us depart together once I'm- Let us go. We should visit Kiara first and try to gain a better understanding of the situation. Um, so Nuvalet feels like he doesn't truly belong here in Fontaine, but... Is that really true? Paima feels like he has a kind of skewed perspective on a lot of things. It just began. I'm already sleepy. What the hell? Someone's been thinking. You called yourself a fish out of water, right? But since you're the Hydro Dragon, would a dragon out of water suit you better? Thank you for your suggestion. I will consider using the more accurate term in private occasions. Please allow me to rephrase. As a dragon out of water. <laughs> I'm on as sweet as ever. Not gonna lie. The loop, the loop, the loop. I can jump. Forget jumping, I can teleport, god damn it. I'm like, I can jump and yet I'm like, okay. I never thought I'd see him here. The who? Does anyone have a camera? <sighs> the weather's... Kiara. You're the Traveler and Paimon! Aww, she's adorable! <laughs> Thanks for the compliments. Is there anything I can do for you? I heard from Sedine that you received a threat. A threatening letter? The letter fell through the crack in my door as I was heading out this morning. It said something about catching me, so I thought someone wanted to play hide and seek. But Sedine told me it was a threatening letter, and that I could be in danger. But that's not gonna happen with everyone looking after me, right? Have you run into any suspicious-looking people recently? Suspicious-looking people? What counts as suspicious? Ah! Oh, did you think of... Nope. I don't rem... Do you still have the letter with you? Oh! Uh, let's see. Found it! What does that even say? God damn. Now then, <clears throat> get lost. If you don't leave the Mare Chaussee Phantom, I will come and catch you in person. Don't say I didn't warn you. A simple threat. Neither the handwriting nor the content itself reveals anything about the writer's intentions. We can't rule out that possibility. Since you can't think of anyone suspicious, I will be heading back to the Palais Mamonia to review some official documents. Kiara, you should come with us. It's safer if you stay close by. Sure! Uh, 
Wait, no, no, no. I, I still have a case to work on. I promised Ilof that I'd check on her place later. But you are being watched right now. Going off on your own could be dangerous. And that's where we come in to help. We'll stay with Kiara and make sure she's safe. Yeah. But that's around anyone scheming to hurt Kiara can forget about it. Thank you, Traveler. Fix this, Paimon. Uh... Oh. Uh, ahem. Don't worry, your big sis Paimon is super strong. All right. Let us go our separate ways for now. Please take care of Kiara. How? We'll take her to a lost place right away. See you around. How happy Paimon is. So, Kiara, how old are you? Hmm, let me think. One, two, ten? Uh, I can't remember. But I remember coming to the Court of Fontaine with Carol and Nuvillette. That must have been a long time ago. Carol? Did Nervala mention her just now? That was more than 400 years ago! Why would Paimon be a big sister to you? My memory isn't that good. But Carol told me I could address others based on how I feel about them. Paimon feels a lot more grown up than me, so you're a big sis. Huh. Paimon sees. Uh... Hey, Traveler, did you hear that? Is that Strange. Charlotte? Paimon felt like someone- Hey, Loth! Kiara, you're here. Huh? Wait, aren't these two? Oh, they're the Traveler and Big Sis Paimon. I thought so. What brings you here? Did you run into an- Ah, it's not really trouble anymore with us around. May I begin inspecting the store? Of course. What is she looking hmm. at? No hazards detected. You've cleared the inspection. Seems like the criminal from that case last month never set foot in here. That was quick. What were you inspecting? I took a look around the shop. Nevilet says that us Melazines have special eyes that can see things people can't. Things like blood stains. No matter how hard you try to clean them up, we Melazines can see their residual stains for some time. All right, all right. Now that you're done inspecting, can we have a chat? Hear me out. I'm planning to release an outfit for children next month and wanted to hire you as my model. Of course! Is there anything I need to do? Please wait a moment while I take your measurements. Seems like they get along really well, huh? What are you looking at? Is there really someone watching us? Shh! I knew it, Charlotte. Strange. Gotcha! <laughs> Charlotte, what are you... Oh, wait, don't tell Paimon your... Threat letter? What threat... Uh, this is starting to feel like an interrogation. Okay, I'll be straight with you. I don't know the slightest thing about that threat letter you mentioned. I only wanted to follow Monsieur Nouvellet and request an interview with him. You want to interview him? That's right. I'm not the only one, you know, but it's not an easy task to accomplish. The Palais Mermonia rarely accepts appointment requests from us, and we never have the chance to interrupt when the court's in session. So imagine how surprised I was seeing him out on the streets today. It seemed like you were investigating something, too. The perfect opportunity to whip up an exclusive, don't you think? Of course, I'll make sure to turn in my manuscript to him for review. I have my principles, and I'd never publish an article without the consent of all parties involved. Yeah, we're doing a secret investigation that can't be made public. I see. Well, if you say so, I guess I'll put this matter aside for now. Oh, what a shame. Chances like this don't come by very often, you know. In exchange, could you tell me what the threat letter is about? <sighs> All right. What? Someone's targeting a cute little melazine? <laughs> It just so happens 
that I did an interview with Kiara. Last month, in fact. It was well received by our readers, so I was planning to continue the series. And now someone's coming after her. I'll ask my colleagues about it. Who knows? We might find something. And don't worry, I know what I'm doing. This, but I gotta warn you. Even if I keep my lips in Why? People care a great deal about Monsieur Nouvellet's each and every move. Some may have already realized that something was up. Besides, the case involved... Anyway, I'll get going now. Watch yourselves, all right? They talk a well, lot. that was a nice chat. Hmm. Let's head back and check on Kiara. Hey, what is she doing here? What do you think? The design looks pretty good, huh? I think it's great! Huh. It's very pretty indeed. Clarad! What are you doing here? It seems that you just showed up out of- As I passed by the Palais Mermonia, I heard that Nivellet was investigating a case with you. Technically speaking, he and I are under an employer-employee relationship. It didn't feel right to have my employer personally take on such trivial cases. I happen to have some time at the moment, and came to take a look. I sometimes have my clothes custom-made at this boutique, in any case, so we always have a lot to talk about. Ah, oh, Nervalite sure is lucky to have someone like- Leave this to me. You should go meet up. Okay then, we'll leave Kiara in your hands. <sighs> I'm a big shot. Also, uh, oh, okay. We actually need to unlock this side of this uh, map as well. It's called the Leafy region. Leafy, huh? That's a name. That's a name, all right, Leafy. Why am I walking there again? back. Is everything all right? We ran into Cloran. She offered to help us protect Kiara. That is good to hear. I trust her abilities. It looks like Kiara is in good hands. We thought so too. Well, did you find any... I've been looking over the case records, specifically inspection reports submitted by Kiara and major cases I've judged over the past decade. I've come up with two plans. On one hand, I could start with Kiara and track down the group behind all this. On the other, I could also analyze the conflicting interests of these major cases and confirm my suspicions if there is indeed a mysterious group that bears a grudge against me. Hmm. They both sound like pretty solid plans, but can you really finish browsing through all these documents? That's a lot of reading even for Paimon. Don't worry. I'm a fast reader when it comes to official documents. After all, I have several hundred years of reviewing under my belt. We'll help you read through them! We have nothing else to do! Thank you. I will continue. Have you made any progress? We skipped through some of them, but there wasn't anything useful. Oh, there are so many documents. I would love to answer that question, but the truth is I've 
Never made a precise calculation. If memory serves me right, there should be at least 100,000 cases. The documents you see are just a small fraction of what's really there. Whoa. That's a lot. Looks like the work of a Chief Justice isn't easy at all. That might be how it seems from another's perspective, but trials and official duties are, to me, simply routine. There are many documents here. Take a break if you're... <sighs> you read... All right. Let us take a break. A break of what? Two minutes? <laughs> uh, even the rest of the silence is making time on Please pardon my lack of consideration. People rarely come to the Palais Memonia for matters outside of work. To be quite honest, I am not sure what we should do. Would you like to have some drinks, perhaps? You must be thirsty after- Ooh! Wonders what Novelette likes to drink. He seems like the type. Uh, what's inside these glasses? It looks just like water. An astute observation. It is indeed water. <laughs> so it's just plain old water? What did you think it was? This water is indeed very special. It would not be an overstatement to call it sophisticated. I believe you've already tried Fanta. In fact, there are many other drink factories in Fontaine, including those that specialize in packaging. Said water is sourced from all across Tevat, including Mondstadt's Cider Lake, Liu's Chintza Village, and here is one of their latest products, water from Sumeru's Apam Woods. If I were to comment on their mouthfeel, hmm, the waters of Cider Lake warm the heart, the waters of Chintza Village have a poignant touch, while one might call the waters of Konda Village uh, placid. Distinct differences exist between the waters of each area. You will appreciate their intricacies once you taste them carefully. What do you think? Don't say it. Uh, nope. <laughs> How regrettable. It seems like you still have a long- Hey, this doesn't have to do with refining our taste. Paimon's pretty sure most ordinary- Oh, could it be because you're the Hydro Dragon? Uh, we are allowed to bring that up, right? Since no one else is around? Oh, Paimon's been wanting to ask this for ages. If you- <laughs> There's nothing to hide. I accepted this position because I wanted to seek out answers to questions that have perplexed me. Questions? Are there really things you can't figure out? Go to Many, Sumeru. In fact. But the one question that puzzles me the most concerns my own existence. In essence, I neither know why I was born in this form, nor do I understand where my long life should take me. I lost many memories from the moment I was born. The Primordial Sea, for example. I can only vaguely recall its connection to me, but I am unaware of what that connection is exactly. Die. Dying is the goddamn connection. Share of it. Perhaps the element- True. I have been holding on, but there is one thing I've discovered along the way. My emotions ease. My guess would be that there are at least some similarities between humans and myself. Have you made any progress? Perhaps, but that's why I'm quite thankful for this chat. Such opportunities are rare. Are we gonna continue reading these documents? Ugh, Paimon's getting dizzy already. I wasn't able to. F Water? Do you? That's right. The Fountain of. If there really were an organization attempting to use Melusines against me, they should also hold an intense resentment towards me. 
Perhaps we'll be able to find some new leads by sensing the hydro element within the fountain. Huh. Perhaps we should go. Let's see. Monsieur Nervillette? I go to the fountain of Lucy. I probably shouldn't disturb them. Looks like we got lucky today. I. Uh, oh, Traveler, can you still hear the voices from the fountain? Perhaps leave the investigation to me. A safe distance? What the heck just happened? A little different, everything lost it, uh, lost it color. And you're like, okay, it looks a little different. Here we are. understand your excitement, but there's no need. Although I have responded to your wishes, it was not without personal interest. Melusine's special sight make them especially suited for joining the Mara Chausse Phantom. I'm certain you'll become an indispensable part of Fontaine's detective force. I know. Not only can I repay you for your kindness, but also, it feels like my life has become a lot more meaningful. But a meaningful life? It's definitely the safest to just stay in the village. But, in truth, I've never really understood the purpose of my existence. For almost 20 years... <laughs> I really wanna finish this. I understand your confusion. Sleep. In fact, I feel the same way. I too... Really? The truth is... Logically speak different identity. There aren't... Oh, I'm caught... I believe in you. Huh? Yes? That stone thing... He is... Going to be skipping a lot of dialogues right now since you know. Hello, can I help with it? Thanks, but oh. Hello, I get away from me, please call. Hmm. Heart. Yeah, we should. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? Exactly. That's Go away. I'm not leaving. We joined the Mars. Solving. C so tell me. Uh, uh, I. Didn't I tell you before? Don't go advertising if you're not a good talker. Votre? Aside from spread, there have indeed been an inc. <laughs> How can two completely different species possibly coexist? <sighs> you heard that? Yeah. I don't there. Um, there are countless Monsieur Nerv I still want to try a little harder. I'm very sleepy. Thank very you for bailing sleepy. me out earlier. <sighs> okay, I won't be taking any more of your time. I painted a lot of flyers last night, so I have to stay and hand them out to everyone. Give them to me. You're, you're not We'll hand them out together.
Chevalet. What's this? Medals of Peace. Awarded to thank you for your con... I think I'll... Hey, don't say that. It won't be long before Melazines begin living peace... Don't keep your hopes up. Ugh, you block... Hmm. Beltran, bring... Please be on... Yes, sir. Okay. Medal of Peace? <laughs> Peace. Are you sure we should do that? Nah, not their rules even he must comply with in the political sphere. So quit worrying and just go- I get- Whose memories and what am I Turn saying? Turn the murderer in! Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalette too! Peaceful coexistence? What a joke! Get out of the court of Fontaine and don't ever come back! The results of the investigation are in, Captain Voltron. Go on. There is no direct evidence, but reasonable inference indicates that the ones controlling the situation are supporters of the old regime, whose interests have been undermined by the reform. They tricked Miss Carroll into going to the crime scene and pressed charges against her. After that, they incited the guards were stopped by- And she called- A little investigation would have cleared things up! Why didn't she wait until we'd established the truth? The situation- <sighs> Captain Voltra. Should I present these results to- There's no need. Restrict access to- <sighs> There's something I've never told, Carol. I had a little sister named Delo- She's just like Carol in every possible way. Innocent, kind- From the moment I met Carol, I knew that she'd be easily manipulated by others. Looks like she- <sighs> Yes. I should have known. Can you understand? I understand, but I- That's exactly why we- I will take responsibility Lord. for everything. Did you know? They're hearing a major case today, and the criminal is Captain Vautrin of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. Apparently, he resorted to personal measures to seek revenge for Carol, and settled the score with the group that framed his friend. <sighs> hey, why aren't you saying anything? I'm thinking... Bail him out? Shh, keep besides. <laughs> Vautrin sought vengeance for his friend- Please, think about it! If the same thing had happened to you, wouldn't you feel the same way he did? Yeah, that's right! Yeah, what this about that This whole means? thing started because of those despicable cowards who levied false accusations against Carol. How could vote Monsieur ne... Mr. Voltra is in He's innocent. innocent! Order! I acknowledge your arguments. Voltra, your revenge could be seen as a form of justice. I understand your decision. Which is why I cannot help but feel regret and even grief about the judgment I must now impose. Personal justice does not equate to justice as defined by the law. Therefore... What? That can't be! Monsieur Nervillet... Votran... Nervillet... What have I... Is this what justice... Order. Since there have... According to the... What just happened? Bye, Monsieur. This all happened because of Carol's naive ideas. How can difference? Hey, that's been... What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Apologies. It seems like my memories got. I tried my best to suppress the power of Hydro within myself, but. It seems like it's still caused due to my negligence. The overflow of emotions and memories must have affected- Wow. The Hydra 
Ender Dragon is more powerful than Paimon thought. Anyways, the last time we came here, the Traveler only heard voices from the Fountain of Lucene. No emotions boiling over or anything. It is as you said. This... it is not only the Fountain... That sounds awesome! But I rarely ever do anything like this. Which ones? <laughs> it's fine. I prefer not to speak of those memories. That does not mean I am deliberately hiding them. It was a coincidence, but perhaps it is a... You should now understand why I believe there to be a conspiracy behind all this. These two cases are much too similar. I have zero idea what is happening. I felt like I needed... Uh, don't leave Paimon out of the conversation. Then let us get back to the point. While I was investigating the fountain, I discovered something strange. I did not sense too much hatred towards me within its accumulated emotions. However, I did find some resentment directed towards Kiara. If I remember correctly, it seemed I don't know what caused. Oh, did you've read about it? In that case, huh? Navia, nice to see you again. Is there something we can help with? I've heard some things, but I'm not purposely asking around or anything. Don't worry. Rumors are abroad that someone's scheming against Melusines, and that you're investigating the case. So I told the Spina di Rosula to keep an eye out for leads. Thank you. Where did you hear about the chief judge? You talked to so that's indeed. Hmm. Anyway, the suspects who we are planning. All right. Wait for my word. Ta ta. Uh, never let. I have already considered that possibility. What is more important? I hope the same won't happen. I'm still thinking what is Strange. going to happen. Strange. Did something happen? Let's take a look around. Have you heard? Someone's plotting against a Melazine. This is 100% the truth. Even the Chief Justice- What? Our enemies are lurking in the shadows and won't easily reveal themselves. But no amount of hiding will keep us from finding them. That's exactly what I wanted to say. The guards have already begun to take action. We can't just stand by and watch. Think about how much we owe them. Now that they're in danger, how can we just sit back and do nothing? Everyone, please stay alert to your surroundings from now on. If you see any suspicious persons, report them to the guards immediately. I'm pretty sleepy. It feels like you've been following me this whole time. Did something happen? We were informed that. <clears throat> nope. We just finished our shifts and happened to be strolling by. Have you had dinner yet? Why don't we check out the new items at the dessert shop together? This isn't a good time, come on. Don't act... <sighs> you shouldn't ever skip meals. It's... I heard even Nervulet's keeping an eye on the situation. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to get promoted. We gotta make sure we give it all we've got. Seriously? Relax, I... That's more like it. Come and fight me and... Have you heard? Even the special patrol... Shh! <gasps> Looks like there's nothing to worry about. Hmm. This is tr So... No, I should. Let us stick to our plan and return to the Palais Mamonia. The faster we uncover the truth. <laughs> what is even happening right now? I'm too sleepy to be <laughs> listening to all that. I'm seriously just taking it in this air and exiting it from that air. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? The smuggling case was solved by the list of involved. What does it say? The principal of those with close among them. So many. Yes, it seems like he's closely related to. Monsieur Nervalet, someone claiming to be from the Spina du Rasula, just he said, and huh? How did Navia find them so quick? I too am.
So, meet up with Navia. We're going to meet Navia right now. Where the hell is Navia? <laughs> Salute! Sanakoro. That is not a language. Do not search that. Hey, Navia. Get. I'm. I became a Spider Man. Something wrong? Whoa! Check at all these people! Uh, hey there, are you not- These are the people who have had recent dealings at the Mara Chaussee Phantom. They're usually hidden in the flu of Zandra, but I sent for someone to invite them over. Invite them over? Exactly. Now, I heard there's great coffee here, and so I asked them if they'd like to come and have some. Yeah, it's our pleasure to be guests of the Spina di Rosula. <laughs> I've wanted to have a meetup like this. Uh, but... Oh, well. Let's get back to business. Is there anyone called Essa here? Yes. Uh, that... Your Essa? Yes. Yes, Monsieur Nervilette. Did you write that threatening letter to... Um... <clears throat> I, I did, but I, I was just following orders. Orders from... Dominico. He was my boss. I couldn't disobey his orders. Dominico? Where is he now? In the fortress of Meropede. Well, uh, I'm afraid even the Spina would have trouble looking into that place. Looks like you'll have to make the trip yourselves. This was as much as I could do. You've done more than enough. I'm extremely... Leave the formalities for later. You should find Dominico first. If he really is the one setting up the conspiracy, it'd be best if he's exposed as soon as possible. Dominico. All right then, let's head to the fortress, right? Wait, Dominico, wasn't he? Continue. Wasn't he the guy who helped me? Isn't he? Like what? What the hell, man? Are you doing? Sh what are you doing in this day, huh? I guess we're going to the jail again. Like it's my home and something. Here we go. Yeah. Heroic landing, let's go. Welcome to the fortress of Meripede. Dear esteemed guests. We're back! Oh shit. Oh, and a greeting! This isn't anything. Let's assume we've gone through the pleasantries and cut right to the chase. Hmm. I do remember a thing or two about Dominico. He once attempted to round up the other inmates and instigate a protest. He once attempted to, I said, meaning that it was over before it even started. And now he's threatening Melazines, is he? To be honest, Dominico doesn't seem like much of a conspirator. The fact that the three of you bothered to personally investigate raises a flag. Is there some- <sighs> He's got the same concerns we do. I am concerned about this incident because something similar has occurred in the past. I wish- That's an easy one. Le oh, did I hear someone say Melazine? What happened? Seizuring! Yeah, and we're investigating! The person who threatened- Really? Is Kiara gonna be okay? There's no need to worry. Clarand is protecting her as we- <sighs> Well, that's great. But if the criminal's still- Is there anything you can do about this? Ah, head nurse. Do you require me to personal- Ridesley. Okay, I get it. I'll bring Dominico to you. That's your only demand. Think of it as more of a humble request. I'm here on my own accord, not to formally transfer a criminal for trial. I urge you to set aside- Thanks for the trouble. Cons- Whoa! If Paima were you, Your Grace, Paima would take this chance to ask for something really important. Well, were I still a criminal, I'd probably ask for a lighter sentence. But I'm sure Monsieur Neuville- But enough jokes. I'll look for Dominico and bring him to you. Make yourselves at home. 
Our dear head nurse has mentioned you quite a few times, so I'm sure she has a lot to say. Please what? come with me to the infirmary. Well? Ah, and watch your step. There's some pretty dark areas, so make sure you don't trip over anything. She in love with the goddamn doctor or something? I feel like she is and... There we go. Did Nervy Let's just walk by? Now that I think about it, I can leave this place soon. Huh? I like how they're reacting to Novelle talking with me. Please rest here for a moment. Oh, and would anyone like anything to drink? Paimon's not that thirsty, but thanks anyway. Thirst is a warning sign that you're dehydrated, which means you have to drink up even... I'll bring you some tea. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Shijuin. Concerned about everyone's health as always. Shijuin. Uh, why aren't you two saying anything? You noticed them too. The badges they wore on their... Familiar? Uh, but if both of you say so, let's go ask them about it. That's not a bad idea. Think of yourself as Shah Rukh Khan. Okay? If you go outside, people are just going to... So Monio, so it's better if the body double goes. What the hell is this? The peaks and through of what? Yo, what the hell is this? What the hell? What the fuck? Talk to my kid. What the hell? More, more quests just piling up. God damn, bro. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure what's going to be. Yeah, yeah, be, 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 got this, got this. Anything you need? I need your pocket. The badge you already. Oh, this? Are you in- The Mutual Aid Network? Oh, don't tell- The Beret Society. Oh, you mean the group- Okay then, what does your network usually do? We have a very long history, going back as far as 400 years ago. What? We have never had many members throughout our history, nor do we have much of a reputation, but everyone treats each other like family. Helping each other is our purpose. At the same time, we seek to maintain just dealings as much as possible. Sounds like a pretty neat organization! <laughs> All we want is to defend ourselves. None of us have ever committed serious crimes, and we're not especially powerful either. We're at a natural disadvantage here in the fortress. But people won't give us a hard time if we stick together. Okay. <sighs> Interested in joining the mutual aid? If you'd like to learn more, here. Help each other. Do all you can to further justice. Do not defeat ju uh, just judgment. Do not detest just judgment. A slogan may have here. What that means? You two look... It's the symbol of the Mutual Aid Network. From what I've heard, it's based on something called a Medal of Peace. I've never seen one of those medals. The first president of our network... All of us have a lot... Okay, okay, okay. We okay. have gathered enough information. Let's head back and talk to Nervalette. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Again, not a language. Do not search that. Sato. Did you manage to gather any intel? Mm-hmm. The people who wore the badges belong to an organization called the Mutual Aid Network. According to them, the badge's design was inspired by the Medal of Peace. Have you seen any of those before? Nope. I personally crafted two of them myself. They were awarded to Carol and Vautrin. Carol's medal was destroyed in a fire. 
The only one that remains should belong to Votran. Oh! Check that. So the network was inspired by... Inspired by who? Monsieur Nervillet, His Grace has requested your presence in his office. He's found Dominico. Hmm. All right. Let us talk to him first and get to the bottom of this situation. Damn. Going this way, eh? <laughs> go to Risley's office. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> that was so close. Allow me to introduce this fine gentleman, Dominico. Why don't you explain everything to him? N Nervilet? Wh what do you want? Calm down. I merely want to ask. Was it your idea to. Uh, I... Essain has already confessed. Stop that idiot! Let me ask this another way. It was your idea to. <sighs> Who is pulling your. St what? Y you're not trying to frame me for something I haven't done. Hmm. It's best if you realize the gravity of your situation. The Chief Justice of Fa I assume your previous attempt to incite unrest at the Fortress of Meripede has something to do with- I... I admit I acted on- I can do that. You see? We're all reasonable people here. I only intended to do some small business at first. Someone contacted me about delivering some goods and promised me a generous sum of more in return. After making a few trips, I was suddenly approached by the Marichose Phantom. They accused me of smuggling prohibited items, and I was put on trial. But I refused to accept any of that. The ignorant can be rightfully absolved from guilt, right? Well, I suspect that someone got me locked up here so they could get their hands on my goods. <sighs> and then you decided to take revenge on the Melazines? Over that? My initial target was Nervilet. Everyone in the Fortress of Meripede was declared guilty by him, after all. So they must more or less hold a grudge against them, right? If I could get them to strike back... But for some reason, no one wanted to team up with me. That mutual aid network in particular... What did those nobodies even... In the end, I had to redirect my focus onto Melazines to salvage things. I recall that Kiara was the one who confiscated my goods for inspection. So I asked one of the more approachable guards to send a letter, claiming that I meant to contact, but the letter was in fact addressed to Essa. I requested that he write a threat letter to Kiara and force it to resign from the Mari Show safe. Am I to assume that the claims you've made are your own thoughts? Have you- No. Is it true that all members involved in the sm- Yes. Hmm. Sijuin, please take him back to the detention center. I'll deal with him later. So, Monsieur Nervillet, you were concerned that there might be a shadowy faction looking to capitalize on the delicate situation with the Melazines to stir up greater chaos? Yes. I experienced a similar incident in the past. And how long ago- More than 400 You might be overthinking. Time can change a lot of things. What do you mean? 400 years ago, you and the Melazines you brought to Fontaine were the outliers in society. But in the present day, if someone were to threaten the safety of the Melazines, people wouldn't just sit back and do nothing. I trust that they would make different choices from before. That's right! We saw lots of people standing up 
for Melazines on our way back to the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nivillette, the Melazines are a species you introduced to Fontaine. How the public treats them is also reflective of their attitude towards you. When people refused to place their trust in Melazines, it was because they were still on the fence about you, their unfamiliar Chief Justice. For almost 500 years, you've conducted every trial with impartiality. You made the right judgment each time regardless of whatever nonsense went on. People no longer have any reservations about you and even consider you a symbol of the law. Right now, your every decision will impact all of Fontaine. Good In other thumbs. words, you've gradually transformed the whole nation. Goosebumps. Paima gets it now. No wonder no one wanted to join forces with Dominico. Goosebumps. Tragedies like that don't have a... I am undeserving of such high compliments. From my perspective, I have simply been fulfilling my duties. It isn't anything special or worthy of praise. You I'm simply about that. fulfilling the promises I've made and searching for answers through my judgments. Oh, it yeah. is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. The complexity of human emotions and willpower far exceed those of mine. As a matter of fact, I believe that you are the ones who deserve my respect. There's no need to be so modest. The current state of affairs says it all. You're no longer that outsider you were before. Even if you wished to investigate something on your own, many would take the initiative to lend you a hand. I must say that you've made- Thank you for clearing my doubts. Now that the ki- Huh? You're leaving? And so soon, too? Why not- Thank you for the offer, but I know how this place works all too well. While some are here to redeem themselves, there will inevitably be those who harbor resentment towards me. The less time I spend here, the better. My presence could very well result. In that case, I'll have to insist. I still have- Please. The first is about the guard who helped Dominico send that letter. Ah, I know of what you- The guard was indeed deployed from the Palais Memoria's staff. However, as I mentioned earlier, I visited today on personal business. Well, that makes things a lot easier. Hey now, don't let your imagination run. Those from up there have a tendency to sympathize with others. However, down here, such thoughts will put you at high risk. I'll have a chat with the guard and remind him to take per- I see no issues with- Great! That's one thing out of the way! Uh- The other thing was born from my own sense of curiosity. Now, I've heard that you invest- Yep! Nevelette thought their badges looked- I noticed the small gang as well when I first took over the Fortress of Meripede. They were not great in number, but every member always made sure to stand up for what was right. I've looked into their founder, Vautrin, who once stood trial and was sentenced to imprisonment in the fortress. According to existing documentation, Vautrin remained disciplined throughout his imprisonment. He had never once engaged in physical or verbal aggression. In other words, how he presented himself in prison was very different from his behavior in court. What? During his trial, I could sense that his feelings were complicated. He appeared to be full of resentment, and I believe he had every right to feel it. Perhaps he had been putting on an act. An act? Nervillette and Vautrin had a close relationship as superior and subordinate. Vautrin must have known that the Chief Justice would make an impartial judge. Thus, the more resentment he displayed, the clearer it would be to those present that you were upholding. And to those who had been sitting on the fence, Vautrin's act was a very meaningful one. <sighs> Whoa! And that's all from me. Does anyone else have anything to say? Now's your chance. I don't have anything to say. Apart from- Well then. Let us head back. No need to see us off. That man sacrificed himself. Please, take care. For the great of good. Damn. Quests. When you're navigating to a quiz object, you can press... Uh, objective. You can press the indicator below the minimum ban. I couldn't read the entire thing. Follow Nobelet. Okay. That trial is something I rarely bring up in conversation, but... I have always felt deep regret for what happened to both Carol and Vautrin. The words he spoke in court often replay in my mind, as if urging me on to do something. But Risley said he never resented you, right? Isn't that a good thing? I believe I now understand what he wanted to tell me. I feel conflicted about those words. How should I describe it? Surprise, relief, fear, and regret. 
But this blend of emotions has led me to finally understand some things. I would like to hear your thoughts, too. What do you think of me? Paimon agrees with everything Risley said. As Chief Justice, every single one of your trials makes an impact on Fontaine. Uh, hey, any... What I really think is... Every trial you've ever judged has left its impression on you. And that's what makes you who you are today. I still think that so. as an outsider due to his identity. But so much time has passed since then. Perhaps the lines between him and humans have long since blurred. Mm. That is indeed a reasonable assumption. As I said, I find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. But I trust your judgment. Since some time ago, I have begun... These changes were not due to any specific occurrence, but I will try to contemplate this further. Thank... Oh, 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 oh. It's oh. raining! Oh, oh no, Paimon forgot to bring an umbrella! Come on, let's hurry before it rains harder! Ugh, it's raining again. I've had enough of this weather. Ugh, there go my travel plans. Did you read the news this morning? Quick, put away everything on the clothesline. <sighs> when is this rain going to stop? <laughs> Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry! They're planning to reanimate the monster. We have to report this to the Chief Justice. The Fortress of Meripede. It's a good place for me. Nervilet? Hmm. You could say he's the real symbol of Fontaine's justice. Watch him closely. He could be trouble. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? Who's been threatening Melusines? Show yourself! You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. Good morning, Monsieur Nouvellet! The rainy season's almost over! <laughs> the skies are supposed to clear in a few days! I hope you find time to enjoy the sunny days ahead. Is the matter resolved? Yeah, but, uh, we found the person who sent that threatening letter. Risley said he'd keep a close eye on him, so the Melusines should be safe now. I don't know what to say. That was very sad. I'm very happy at the same time. I, uh, having a, I'm having a surge of emotions just go through my mind right now. I don't know what to feel. That was good. That was deep. That was D double E P. 
deep. Oh, that's wonderful. Sorry for dragging you all in. There's no need to apologize. Yeah, you didn't drag us in. We got involved of our own... Uh, by the way... At the Palais Mermonia, more than 50 people offered to protect her. Some even hid within the bushes to look out for danger. I was worried that the excess of protection would make her feel uneasy. So I asked... <sighs> what a... Well, now it looks like the dust to celebrate this joyous occasion. Monsieur Nouvellet. That's not how you say... I will consider it. <gasps> of course. My schedule is full for the following weeks, but... I should be come up with questions during the intervening days, and I will answer them. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes! Thank you so much, monsieur! Now, if you'll excuse me, I must head back to the Palais and issue a communique to publicize our investigation. I hope it will assuage... Black, huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry. That that <laughs> That should have not happened, huh? Where are we going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Talk to Kiara. Monsieur Novelet. Oh, she's sleeping standing. What the hell? Wake up! Kiara? It's quite alright. I'm here to tell you that we have caught the sender of that threatening let- Sorry, I accidentally fell asleep. Thank you, monsieur. And thank you too, traveler and big sis Paimon. Everyone's been so nice to me, so I've always felt really safe. Do you remember Domenico? He was the sender of that letter. Let me think. Uh, I can't remember. My memory isn't that good, so I easily forget things. By the way, I saw Carol in my dreams just now. Hmm. Uh... In my dream, she looked really happy. She held... I can't remember what our dreams were anymore. And I don't know why. I can sense your joy. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot! Um, I promised to model for Alof. Of course. See you next time, Monsieur Traveler and Big Sis Paimon. Hmm. See you next time. Everyone looks so young, but they are actually 400, 500 years old, huh? Talk about Nahida. She's 500 years old. God damn it. She looks like a child. Apparently, she is a child, so yeah. Anyway. Involvation resolve. You can continue this quest. Let's go. You can continue this quest. Okay. Well, that was that. This story quest finished and all that. So, I mean, nothing else to do, is there? <laughs> I mean, world quest and all that other shit, but mm, for now, let's just say I finished everything. Let's go. Oh, the Archon quest, the Gordon story quest. Let's go. It was like, what, eight hours worth of gaming? Eight or nine. Damn. Like, I spent like, what, 500 to 600 hours of just gaming on on this. God damn it. 400 plus hours on Fortnite as well. What the fuck am I doing with my life? What the hell? Anyway, again, I say this all the time. If you are watching this on Twitch, do follow. If you are watching this on YouTube, damn, subscribe, man. What the hell? You see that red button right there? The blue? You see? Just, just press that. Just, just, just smash it. Slap the hell out of it. Why not? Just, just double click on it. Tick, tick, and then again, right click on it. Then click on it. I don't know what I just said, but yeah, something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you subscribe. 
you can watch my videos you can watch my videos anyways you don't need to subscribe for that but one is one subscribe equals to one piece of mind which i really need right now my hand is really swollen anyway and if you're watching this on what twitch just follow you know you can you can get the notification gain gains when yeah that's my notification gain gains when i'm live gain gains or gain gains whichever you, you prefer anyway nothing else to say just that i wanted to say that if you want to watch me live play in real time go follow and also if you want to watch all the videos again or just go through them for once or twice or thrice i don't know subscribe see you could listen to the word that is not a language do not say that